Welcome back to another segment of Murphy's Thoughts with me, Murphy. Today we're going to talk about how to sleep with your phone and what to do with your phone when your girlfriend's crazy. And this is all from the sleeping standpoint. So let's look at the different type of ways of how to sleep with your phone. You got option one. You can have the phone next to you charge normally. You got option two. You can sleep with it in your hands. You got option three. You can hide it up under your pillow. You got option four. You could just leave it dead. Option five. You can leave it in the car. Not today. No, no, no. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't not today. Ain't got option six. Just get creative with other parts of the house. Let me give y'all an example on my experience. So before, you know, I used to just play on my phone all day, yada, 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 with her when I was with her, and then I would charge it, you know, through the night, like a normal person. No. So that stopped when I would go to my phone, you know, in the morning or whatever, and I see all these dumb prints. Then when I go to the gallery, you know, just later on in the day looking for something, then I see all these headshots. You know, when the camera gets you when somebody continues to try to get into your phone and it just takes a picture, you know, of the crook. The national is just like, ah. Yo, this little bitch right here crazy. For real. So then, right, I got smart a little bit. I had to get a little strategic. So what I would do is give her attention, right? Like I normally do, but this time I had a phone charging throughout the day, right? Then when it's time to go to bed, make sure that my phone was at least about 80%, right? Then I would put the phone in the window sill. It wasn't just like in the window sill. Like her bed was close to the window. I put the phone in the window sill and had like my pillow right over the window sill where I was laying on, cause I, I like the angles anyways. One day she was like, so why do you leave your phone in the windowsill underneath the blind behind the curtains beyond the pillow and i'm just like how do you know where my phone is that shows you that she was being a little iffy it's like honestly i think females sometimes when you be sleep they just stand and stare at you like and then just literally be sitting there just thinking who goes who goes to work for eight hours if you don't take a lunch you get 30 minutes and he said he don't eat his lunch so that means he took 30 minutes to go chill with her. Literally be sitting there just thinking. Called the bar. They said you left at 745. I checked MapQuest, Marcus. It only takes six minutes to get there from here. So if you've got somebody on the side, Marcus, you need to tell me. So how do you do this type of female? Well, you got a few options. One, you could cut her off. <laughs> Two, you can just be like. Guilty of paying more attention to my job than I do my wife. I'm guilty of not appreciating all the little things you do for me. My biggest crime is I didn't tell you I loved you every single day. Okay. Three, you just have two phones. I got two phones. Or you can just come to her directly and be like, I want you out. I don't even know why you're still here. Step! Oh, Step! And ladies, if you are this type of female, because look though, if you want to know something, just ask a question. And if you feel like you're not getting told the answer, then just leave. Like, really no middle. Like, you ain't got no searching. You're just being extra. Because look, we're not trying to make the group chat all the time. Or Instagram. We just don't want to be a part of it. So look, option one, ask a question. If you feel like you're lying, then leave. What's the, what's the middle? Would you want closure? I feel like it's so simple. They're being so Nancy Drew with the situation. 